You're in the rant wormhole where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get a rant by becoming one of those people. This one is at the request of Not Grand, who says to rant about Zen Huxtable, written in all caps and spaces between the letters. Zen Huxtable is a cool-ass dude with a really interesting YouTube channel that I love to watch. Uh, and he's going to be at my house tomorrow so we can drop some fucking acid and trolls. Uh... Zen Huxtable is the, the number one regret I'm going to have about leaving Boston, is not getting to hang out with him anymore, because he's a, he's a cool guy to hang out with. He's extremely chill, very personable, very laid back, seems like a guy who, who likes people, likes to be around people, um, in spite of the fact that he seemingly never leaves his house, like, he, uh, he's always telling me that he, he doesn't go anywhere at all, but, uh, going by his videos and stuff, you know, he, he... He lives a fulfilling college life with uh, with lots of connections. From just from my perspective, as somebody who literally doesn't talk to anyone, um, but you know, uh, he's he's an interesting guy. He has a very different perspective from most people who I've met. Um, like just for one thing, being a a black guy with like more centrist political views because he you know comes from a more conservative family. Um, and who, who is very willing to listen to all sides of every argument and sort of parse something down the middle and, and never really take... He's not really somebody who takes sides. He's somebody who just kind of is intrigued by the arguments of different people and, you know, is really capable of, I think, being friends with people anywhere, anywhere politically, anywhere... Um, opinion-wise, you know? He's not somebody who's very judgmental of people for their opinions. It's basically, you know, he doesn't like you if you're a piece of shit. And uh, there's lots of people who are pieces of shit, but if you're not a piece of shit, you can probably get along with Zen Huxtable. I mean, uh, you know, in the, a lot of the context I've hung out with him, a lot of my other friends who don't even know who he is or have any context for, uh, you know, his video content have hung out with him, and, and you know, everyone thinks he's cool as shit. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's a real fun guy to have around. And um, his content is really interesting because he sort of takes an approach of like even though his he he has a point in his videos and he is trying to reach a, a wider audience i think that because of the fact that he really internalized the idea of like hey title and thumbnails all that matters for success which is true and i'm the one who preaches it the most i think that he kind of looked at that and said well okay then it doesn't matter what the video is like it could be anything as long as i state the point then that's all that really matters. So, like, he's had videos, for instance, where it might be two minutes long. The title is basically a full sentence. At some point that he won't even, you know, speak that sentence again in the video because he thinks you already get it. It's kind of like he, he'll, he'll just have, like, a, a, a rollicking, rambling sort of path towards, you know, completing the statement and then being done. Um, his videos are never trying to meet a quota for length. They're never trying to meet a quota for editing quality or anything. Um, oftentimes he's just filming himself in a grainy way in his room, but his room is interesting because it says so much about him as a person, that he has these, like, drawings of his heroes that he's, like, you know, these massive drawings that he's stuck up on the walls of all these, you know, creators who he respects. He's got a keyboard in there and he will talk about music theory and just play parts on his keyboard to explain what he's talking about. You know, um, there's a very kinetic feel where he's got the microphone in his hand and he stumbles into frame and it's just like, you know, semi-scripted, semi-rambling. You never really know what you're going to get when you click on a Zen Huxtable video. And then he's got his side channel where things get even more unpredictable. So, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of what I have always loved about Give and Take's channel. You know, whereas Give and Take had the Hypocrite channel where it was like highly edited video game, scripted video game reviews with cool skit segments. And those are extremely creative and great and worth coming back to. But like his Give and Take channel was just whatever, whatever came to mind, whatever he felt like filming, and Zen Huxtable takes a similar approach, but it's like the difference between his main and side channels is not about how much effort or how much quality goes into this video, it's purely the idea. Is this an idea that will reach a lot of people or that I think that, you know, most of my audience would care about, or is this something more personal, more tangential that, you know, only people who are really invested in me and my perspective are even going to care about. So 
I've kind of been taking a lot of influence from him ever since I found out about him, um, particularly when I did my August videos, like when I, when I put out a video every day all month, I was, you know, trying to copy that, that sense of like, I will make the point, I'll, I'll say the thing that will make the video popular and give it the title and thumbnail that work, but instead of thinking of it like, this script has to be adapted into something that shows exactly what I mean using clips from the show and clean editing, let's instead just film whatever I want that will creatively convey this idea. And you can really see that most especially in the My Hero Academia video I used to start off the month where it was all filmed on my camera, either pointing at screens showing clips or like acting things out, you know, um, just like trying to figure out how can I, how can I film this in a way that it still conveys the point while using none of the usual editing techniques, you know? And I know that a part of the reason Zen Huxtable does things this way is that he doesn't generally like to edit, because he doesn't like to have to do that type of editing, um, you know, and he can. Like, there's a video that he edited for um, Econ, which was, I think it was the one about gatekeeping or whatever in the anime community. I don't remember what it was called, but... Uh, Zen Huxwell did a phenomenal job editing that. It was a one of the better edited anime analysis videos I've fucking seen lately. So I know he has the chops to do really creative and, um, you know, uh, well-produced editing in a way that's kind of similar to how the Davu edits. But, you know, because of the fact that it's like, it's my own channel, it's my own thing, he will you know, opt to just basically present the video, whatever makes the most sense. And he's somebody with an endless wellspring of ideas. So you get videos pretty frequently. He, um, you know, is always more concerned about just getting it off of his plate as opposed to, um, you know, making it reach some, some certain standard. And, like, for me, I, I relate to that because... The way I used to do things is that either I would write videos that I felt I could edit really quickly and then do them myself, or I write videos that I don't want to edit and I pay somebody else to do it for me. But like when I started thinking of it in terms of like, okay, instead of I wrote this script and now it's either going to have to be made by Devu or just not going to get made because I don't want to put the time that it takes into editing this. Instead, let me think about how I can edit this, that it will still entertain people and still be acceptable, but just take less time. And I think that's that's the mentality he takes. He's he's willing to have a black screen for a for a few seconds if it's if there's no reason to show anything there. And I've never even like I've never even been willing to come close to embracing that idea, even though when I watch his videos I have no problem with it. So there's a lot to be learned. And um, yeah, just having such a unique perspective, having so many diverse interests, knowing music theory. I had just assumed that he was like a, a student at a jazz school or something, that he was like doing music in college. No, he's an animation student. So he not only could speak on animation, but he could speak on music just because he knows all this shit about it. I don't, I don't know why. Um, I, I, I assume he was at some point in high school band at the very least, but... Uh, yeah, he, he can he can present these different perspectives, and he has really diverse tastes, so you get to hear about lots of different shit. He's not even really an anti-tuber, like, he does talk about anime and care about anime, and he participates in the, 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 the social circle of anime, but he's also in a lot of other things, and he follows tons of people online, you know, he's a big Twitter user, big time, uh, you know, man, man of culture, we shall say, so yeah. I like Zen Huxtable a lot. I'll definitely miss getting to hang out with him uh, once I leave the Boston area, but um, I would love to continue working with him for uh, as long as possible. He's one of the few... He's one of those people... Sometimes I, I meet people online who I feel like I will not have any reason to ever lose friendship with them, you know? Unless, like, some kind of drama arose where, I don't know, if, if one of us somehow fucked the other over, which I can't really even see happening with him... Um, but like, you know, it's sort of like the PCP where those guys, I hang out with them because I, I don't think there's any way that we could, you know, with our personalities and the way that we see the world, piss each other off enough to never speak again, unless it was over work or some kind of money situation that we really fucked ourselves out of. But like, um... You know, Zen Huxtable I hope to be friends with for a long time. That's basically what I'm trying to say. And I apologize to him for the fact that being friends with me is a very 
controversial position to have. Like, just even being willing to appear in my videos or have me in your videos is going to get you in trouble with certain social sects. But I think Zen Huxtable is the kind of no-nonsense person who is like, hey, look, you know, take me or leave me for my stances. Like, I'm not going to pretend that I feel differently about something or, or put distance between me and somebody because other people want me to, you know, because... Um, and I really respect that. And, you know, anybody who's willing to stand up for me, I will go to bat for them as well. So, hope you like the video, Zen.